every year a bunch of elites kidnap normal folk like us. Where'd they get you from? Wyoming. Mississippi. Orlando. <laughs> and hunt us for sport. Well, that horrible movie, The Hunt, will not be coming to a theater near you anytime soon. NBC Universal announcing over the weekend that they are pulling the plug on the film about liberal elites hunting deplorables for sport. The Inger Mangle first exposed this left wing fetish film last week. This it sounds like it's something that already should have been pulled from, from production. But consider the cultural impact of a movie like this, that you should kill your political adversaries. Universal should pull this movie. It, it's just going to inspire more hate. Good for Laura and Raymond. Here now is Horace Cooper, co-chairman of Project 21, and Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney. Gentlemen, you've been on the show many times. Times. Thank you so much. I hope to maintain control by the end of this segment here, but I really do appreciate you, you being here. Um, Horace, when you see this horrific film, I'm glad Universal did the right thing, but it gives you a pause to say, why in the world did they ever greenlight this project? This is the problem that Hollywood has, this fever dream on the part of uh, a couple of writers and directors and producers to say, let's just talk to a small segment of the American society and have this idea, uh, a, a murder fetish. Um, it wasn't going to make any money. It never is going to make any money. And it's a sign that Hollywood really is kind of out of ideas. It's really kind of pitiful when you think about it, when there are really good ideas incredible ideas that could have been put forward. Do you remember the movie Deliverance? That was a movie in which we took people from a particular geographical location and we took other people, mixed them in, and you had a really, really intense, amazing movie. This isn't anything like that, and it's a good thing that they decided to pull it because at least now the money they've spent, they're not going to waste anymore with needing to market or anything Now, like Leo, I want to get your response to that, but listen first to Donald Trump in his reaction in general, not about this film, about Hollywood. But Hollywood is really terrible. You talk about racist. Hollywood is racist. What they're doing with the kind of movies they're putting out, it's actually very dangerous for our country. What Hollywood is doing is a tremendous disservice to our country. Do you buy into that? Is Donald Trump right on this one? Uh, absolutely not. And let me tell you right now, Donald Trump and Horace are not uh, executive producers of movies and something called censorship, because that's what I'm hearing from Donald no, no, and from no, no, Horace. So let me be very no, let me, that's let a me word be, let me be very by clear. You. No, no, it's censorship. Let me be very clear. You know, the, the movie government was pulled hasn't for a couple reasons. Down. Can I just can I finish? Can I just finish sure. my comment? Sure. The, the movie has been pulled for a, a variety of reasons. Do you remember the movie Death Wish? It was pulled because of the shooting in Vegas. Remember the movie Collateral uh, Damage by Arnold Schwarzenegger? It was pulled because of 9/11. My point is simply this: Let Hollywood decide what they are going to sell to the American public, and let the American public decide if it's a worthwhile movie to attend. Not Horrors, not President Trump, because. They're not running Hollywood. And in this expression of free ideas, let it continue in Hollywood. Yeah, but okay. do you buy There is no buy censorship. There's no censorship yeah, you're here. Making the it. government hasn't said anything. No, no. The government hasn't in any way interfered with this piece of junk coming forward. Common sense what, what, has prevailed. And instead, do you call this President movie Trump, isn't, isn't he the government? The today. Is it President no, Trump President part of the Trump, government? He hasn't denied any tax benefits oh, from anyone. He hasn't I see. I see. Uh, uh, had anyone arrested. There's been no actual effort. Then, on the then part what are of we the arguing about? Whatsoever. What are we arguing about? This piece, we're, we're arguing this free piece enterprise, of junk Jason. Free enterprise isn't and coming the, out. And Hollywood has the right to make a movie. Hollywood has the right to make a movie. So what's the big deal? And, because and you don't I like it, Horace? Right. Why? Because the president doesn't like it? Right. Well, no, no. Let me jump and in here. Let me jump in here. Horace, hold on a sec. Leo, the issue is all the whole universe of things that they choose to do in Universal is spending I don't know how many millions of dollars to put things yes. to talk about deplorables, something that was introduced yes. by, by Hillary Clinton, that they're going to go out and kill these people. 
And you, if you don't okay. see that on their surface. Now, ultimately, Universal made the right decision, but if it wasn't for Laura Ingram and some others drawing attention That's to this, right. I think they would have put that out here. Now, oh, I, I disagree with that. I think the timing, I think the timing of the shooting in El Paso, Texas was a motivating factor. Again, has anyone commented on similar situated movie, Death Wish and Collateral Damage? Same situation. Oh, there are all timing kinds of movies is the reason where why this movie is poor. people. No, no doubt about it. I think I think personally, I think Hollywood is much too violent. And if you don't think it has any effect on any of your kids, I want you to go back and watch Mr. Rogers. That, that is a good film. You watch Mr. Rogers and his, what he believes was the impact on our youth when we started getting after violence and when these now, kids are young. I now, think, Jason, I, now... Now you're a Hollywood producer now. I mean, come on now. No, 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 no. They have See, the right to wait, run wait, their wait, own wait. business. Why do people lose their right as a citizen to comment on these That's movies? Not censorship. These movies and, that are violent, these movies and that I'm have disturbing me, Hollywood. messaging. What's that? You're defending. Yes, yes. Okay. They're, That's they what makes this country right great. To That's what makes this country great. Because we have a right to disagree. To the American people, and we have a right to stand up and say we don't like it. It's not good. And I have a right to and say I like goodness, it. I like it. And thank goodness, Laura well, shame on you, brought you this and up. And I'm going to call you so out and say shame on you if you think. Kill a movie about killing deplorables is good. I want to get your, I got to get both of you to weigh in here on Al Sharpton when he tried to show up. Watch this video. Elijah Cummings is a respected and well regarded member of Congress. You go back to New York, you're a phony. Our schools are failing us. Where are you when our schools are failing? You're just a hustler out of county. Go back where you came from. Leo, is he a hustler? I mean, that's what the, the citizen there approaching him called him a hustler. Well, let me let me be very clear here, because Fox believes in you report. I mean, you report, and the people decide. Maybe look, nine percent of African Americans support Donald Trump. Ninety-one percent of African Americans are going to vote him out of office. So, I don't am buy I surprised a few that. people disagree? I don't buy that at all. That's, That's a fact. Those are facts. Those no, are it's those not. are good facts. Nine percent. It's not a fact. It's yeah, a sampling down. of a small portion of people. It's not a fact. What and what does oh, that do with Al? Al. Al not Excuse so Sharpton, Al not so Sharpton got a chance for the American people, many of the people he claims to speak for, a few and people, they told him a few people. the truth. No, no, they no. See, see that's, that's, a that's a spin. Poverty, Jason. He that is spin. Those people not do spin. not represent the hundred, the, the, the African American man, community. And I'll submit to you one thing: done ninety percent of African Americans nothing. will vote Trump out of office. I guarantee you. That Please has call nothing me to do. Ninety percent. Okay, I, a, I can't. A, I that's can't not wait. True. No, and listen. B, I, I have to end it right here. I have to end it right there, gentlemen. Thank you so much, and we're going to bring you back. My pleasure. With Donald Trump. Thank uh, you. We'll see if that ninety-one turns out to be true.